What's going on, Rob here, Trev2323. We're about to take the boat out, probably one of the last times of the season. And I always go through my safety check, taking the boat out, so I'm gonna take you my safety check through me. With me, I mean. What I check when I take the boat out, I have this locked down right here, but I always pull up on this to make sure that's all the way down. Make sure the lights are connected and check all the lights before you leave out again. I make sure I pull, I got a wreath, but I pull on it to make sure that that's in there tight and make sure my hooks are on and they have to be crossed in a cradle-like position, okay? I uh, make sure my tire is up. That is up right there. And then I go to over here. I kind of work my way back, all the way back. I make sure I got the lock on for the trailer and make sure I got the lock on for the tow strap and it is in the locked position so it's not going backwards okay from there i walk around this side i just look to see if there's anything that can bounce out that's loose i don't leave anything loose in here i leave it everything in the van where we're taking with us make sure the air got tires one thing i didn't do this time i didn't check my lugs we're only going to the lo local one but you should always check your lugs i'm bad video i'm not sure checking my lugs but uh, we're only going about maybe uh two miles down the road okay this is my strap right here that goes to hold the back of the boat on it doesn't actually clip onto the back of the boat it clips over the boat so I have it actually over my trawling motor and if the boat slips backwards of course it'll probably break this but it'll slow this down some then it gets hooked on both chairs so the boat shouldn't come all the way off normally by now I put the uh, I put the bung in here except through this side right here I got the bung tied to the boat right here so it don't get lost but I didn't put it in right now because it rained a couple past days. So I just want to make sure everything is draining as we're driving. Okay, make sure there's nothing that can fall off right here. Back here, nothing that could jump out. Go around to the other side. Make sure that it's clamped on right there still to go all the way around. Check the other tire. Then check the other side to see if there's anything loose in there that could pop out. Come around again. Make sure that that is up. We already checked that. You can check that again. And that those are off okay one thing that i had to make sure that i didn't say come around this way is that's normally the lock i have around my boat right there it goes over the axle and locks to the front of the boat make sure that is off you don't want to pull your house down anyways that's like a safety check i do now i have the boat in my backyard on a diagonal angle so i didn't even turn it on to move it until my son was with me to help guide me out one time i thought i had it and i knocked down my barbecue pit so either way uh that's one of my safety checks we'll do another one launching What's going on, Trev 2323 here? Uh, we're at the dock right now. Everything held up, everything's fine. So we gotta go ahead and get the boat ready to launch. So getting the boat ready to launch, where it's gonna include taking the strap off right here, connecting the uh, gas line, priming the engine, getting the engine ready, and connecting all the battery cables. Don't forget, put your bung in. Normally I do this even before we leave, but I wanted to make sure everything was dried out in the back. Gotta take the label off the cable off right here and do all my battery connections. If you see this on top on the off position, this is for my bilge pump right there. And I have it, there's a float switch over there, but this is if I need to turn it on sooner. Okay, I got the boat out the water now. Make sure when you're at the dock, see there's a dock over there. All your lines are already in the boat, kind of, because when you get to the dock, back in, all I do really is I pull this right here as far out as I can to reach the boat. Then I just hook it up and crank it in. A lot of people try using their motor and guide it up there and do all that. You got If you got rollers on the bottom of your boat and one of those, you don't gotta go through all that crap. All you do is hook it up and crank it right in. Uh, over there, that lane right there, normally you're gonna see a U or a circle around the dock. One side, the part that is the straightest one is your launch side you pull frontwards into that the crooked one is your lineup side so you line up in that one right there and as you're lined up you're getting your boat ready to launch so as soon as the launch is clear we come up to the secondary position right here where we're tying everything out you pull up round and go in that position to back in and then by the time you're done backing in we're finished and we're out of the way and the next person can come around you know you can't have everything ready now this right here looks like it'll be only one launch but a lot of us that launch here quite a bit we know we can fit on either side and if they're smaller boats we launch it if they're bigger boats you just give the one thing but let me go ahead and button this up and then we'll get back on the road
let me show you this one thing that i do though do, i do do is when i bring it in i disconnect all the stuff that's not permanently connected to the battery like this right here and this right here seeing that i store my boat outside that's the trolling motor but the rest of the stuff i actually tuck in to the side of the battery box before i close it back up again yeah you know, i take my everything off the negative terminal and i tuck it all into the side of the battery box before i seal it because what happens is even with a tarp or whatever if you get water or rain or anything in there and you got your connection sitting on the outside they are going to rust on you so i put it all in the battery box and seal it up because it don't rust all right that's just one thing that i do